morning students at my side Vijay Shankar from UC department, Chippewa Engineering College. Today we are going to discuss about the energy density in electrostatics or electrostatic fields. Energy density in electrostatic fields. See, when a unit positive charge is moved from infinite to a point in a field, the work done by the external source and energy is expended. Suppose you can assume here the figure is that a space. First, you can place a, a charge Q1 the charge Q1 at the point P1. Consider a space here. Place a charge Q1 at the point P1. There is no any work done, no work done at this here. And another charge Q2, another charge Q2 is placed at the point P2 or the, you can say the test charge charities. Then a force is exerted. A force is exerted due to the charge placed at the P1. Charge placed at the P1. Then another charge Q3 from the infinite, you can place in the space at the point P3, and there is a force is exerted. Force is exerted on Q3 due to the Q1. Here there is a Q3 is there, and Q1 and Q2, not the Q1, that is a Q2, sorry, and Q1. Whenever you can place a Q3 charge at the point P3, the force is accepted due to the Q2 and due to the Q1 also. When we are placing the charge Q1 at the point P1, there is no any other charges in the space. So there is no any work done, of course, no work done. Whenever there is a Q2 is placed, brought from the infinite and you can place it there, P2 point, the force is exited due to the Q1. The force is exited on Q2. The force is exited on Q2 due to the Q1. And similarly, another charge, the Q3 is placed at the point 3, point P3. The force is exited on the Q3. The force is exited on the Q3 due to the Q1 and due to the Q2 also. Q2 and the Q1, both. Following my students. So same here. If the external source is removed, then the unit positive charge will be subjected. A force is exerted by the field and will be moved in the direction of the force. Okay. So here. Consider an empty space where there is no electric field at all. Consider the empty space where there is no electric field at all. The charge Q1 is moved from infinite to a point in the space P1. The charge Q1 is moved from infinite to a point in the space at the P1, this requires no work as there is no E bar present. This requires no work as there is no E bar present. Means there is no any charge inside, only the Q1. Now the charge Q2 is to be placed. Now the charge Q2 is to be placed at point P2 in the space as shown here. 
but now there is an electric field due to but now there is an electric field due to q1 and the q2 is required to be moved against the field of uh, q1 against the field of q1 as the work is required to be done here as the work is to be done so for the potential is equal to work done per unit charge divided by the q the potential v is equal to the potential v is equal to work done per unit charge okay the work done is equal to then the equation becomes uh, work done is equal to the potential v into q see work done to the position q2 work done position q2 when all the q2 is placed at the point p2 at the point p2 the potential potential are due to the q1 the force is exerted on the q2 so v21 of q2 where the v21 is a potential at p2 due to the p1 due to the p1 means a force is exerted on the q2 due to the q1 okay now let charge q3 is to move from the infinite to the point p3 infinite to the point p3 there are electric fields due to the q1 and the q2 hence the total work is done to the potential at p3 due to the charge at p1 and due to the potential and the potential at the p3 due to the charge at the p potential at p3 due to the charge p1 and potential at p3 due to the charge at the p so now the work done to the position of q3 at p sub x3 at p sub x3 is due to the q2 due to the q2 the potential v3 2 of q3 plus due to the q1 the potential q v3 of 1 the q3 okay v21 is a potential at p2 due to the p1 and v31 is a potential at p suffix 3 due to the p1 and v32 is the potential at p3 due to the p2 okay so suppose if we get the q4 the charge q4 is placed at p4 due to the q3 due to the q2 due to the q1 the force is exerted on the q4 so the potential is of the work done the potential v3 v4 sorry v4 3 on q4 plus v4 2 on the q4 plus v 4 1 on the q is a potential at point 4 at p4 due to the p1 potential at the p4 due to the p2 and the potential at uh, p4 due to the p3 and so on what it matters see thus for the charge q1 q1 to be placed at the p n we can write it as uh, so p2 p3 p4 and so on if it is a pn the work done the position qn is at the pn is uh, p 
n1 qn b n2 qn n3 qn and the so on up to got it so first of all you can keep uh, uh, assume the empty space uh, and there is no any field is there in the space no work done occurs the q1 and you can bring the q2 from the infinite uh, and placed at the p2 position there is a force is exerted due to the q1 the work done is uh, potential into the charge uh, due to the potential at the p2 due to the p1 okay so the work done at the position q1 at the pn is uh, n1 b n1 b n2 of the q1 means uh, the charge q1 exerted a force so due to the charge q2 the force is exerted on the qn due to the q1 q1 and so on as the total work done in the position of all the charges is all the charges is because uh, we assume a space at the p1 at the p2 and at the p suffix 3 Q1 is a charge and the Q3 is a charge, another charge and the Q3 is another charge. You can place the total work done in the positions. Total work done in the positions. V W E is Q2. If the Q1 is placed at the point P1, there is no any electric field and there is no any potential done and there is no any work done at this. When the Q2 is brought at the P1 P2 position, then only there is a force is exerted. Electric field is produced and the potential is there and the work done happens. So the V two one Q two plus and now the Q three V three one due to the on the due to the Q three and V three two Q three and so on. Is the equation we got when the Q2 is being the placed at the point P2 and the Q3 is placed at the point uh, P suffix 3. So when the Q3 is there, due to the Q2, due to the Q1, there is a force is exerted. When the Q2 is there, there is no any Q3 before. Before that, there is only the Q1. There is a force is exerted on the Q2 due to the Q1. So W is equal to Q2. V two one plus Q three V three one and Q three V three two and so on. The total work done is nothing but the potential energy in the system of charges, as it is denoted as a W E. As it is denoted as W E. Again, see if the charges are placed in reverse order. If the charges are placed in reverse order. We can write it as. So previously, we can assume a empty space. The first of all, you can place the Q one at the position P one. Then after, you can bring the Q two and place it at the point point P two. Then after, you can bring the Q three and place at the position P three. Now you can. Continue the process with the reverse order. Suppose uh, there is an empty space here. The first of all, uh, I place a Q four, Q four at the position of P uh, four here. Now there is no any work done, no work done because uh, there is no any field is there in the space. Work done. Now from the infinite, uh, bring the Q three and place at the position P three. The force is exerted on the Q three due to the Q four. A force is exerted on Q3 due to the Q4. Now, 
what is the work done here the work done to the position q3 h p suffix 3 is equal to v3 of 4 v3 of 4 and the charge is here now the q3 charge is the q3 now then bring the q2 charge and place at the position p2 now a force is exerted on the q2 due to the q3 and the due to the q4 now what is the equation we have to get q2 at the position p2 is equal to so the force is exerted on the q2 due to the q3 and the due to the q4 also so v2 of 3 when we keep the charge q2 plus v24 when the charge is kept at the position charge q2 is kept at the position p2 so this is another equation and then now i have bring that q1 and place at the position p1 a force is exerted on the q1 and due to the q2 due to the q3 and the due to the q4 also so what is the equation we get q1 at the position p1 is equal to here the v1 due to the q2 there is a force is exerted and the work done potential is developed uh, potential is there and the work done with this plus v1 due to the q3 can we place the q1 and v1 due to the q4 when the charge is placed at the position p1 so now we can add all the terms the total work done the total work done is uh, v12 q1 13 q1 14 q1 and v23 q2 qv24 q2 plus v34 q3 what it matters friends is a reverse order understood now we can add all the terms now we can add all the terms the reverse order and the forward order Two W E is equal to. So previously we got uh, is the equation W E is equal to. Now in the reverse order and forward order. W E is equal to Q two two V two one plus Q three V three one Q three V two. V three two. So add these two equations. Add these two equations in the reverse order and the positions uh, in the forward order. It's a W two W in the left hand side. W plus W is equal to two W E. Let us take the Q one is a charge here. Is a comma. See in this uh, there is no any Q one. Only we have here the Q one is there. The Q one V one two. So V12, V13, V13, and V14, V14, and so on. If it is the V1n, up to the n number of charges you can be taken. Then Q2, Then the charge Q2 we can take here. Q2 is equal to what is the Q2 common here? The Q2 is there, and here also the two terms Q2 into 
B21, B21, B23, B23, B24 and B24 and so on, B2N. Already we take the Q1, Q1 and the Q1. Now it is a Q2, Q2 and here the Q2. They take the Q3 as a common. B31, B31 and uh, B32, B32 here plus B34 plus up to so on, B3N and so on. And Q4, well, you can take the Q4 also plus, let us take it as a Q4. What is the potential? The potential will get here B41 plus B42 plus B43 plus up to so on, up to so on, B4n. What it matters, friends. So you can add the two equations uh, from the forward order and the reverse order. When charges are placed in the empty space, the 2we is equal to the 2we is equal to q1 with the total potential and the q2 with the total potentials and the q3 with the total potentials. Each sum of the potential is a total resultant pot potential due to all the charges except for the charges at the point uh, at the point at which the potential is of prime. See the Q1 is there, there is no any 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, so on. When the charge is Q2, there is no any B2, 2, B2, 1, 2, 3, 2, 4, all. The charge is Q3, we have only the 3, 1, 3, 2, there is no any 3, 3 here, B3, 4. The charge is Q4, B4, 1, 4, 2, 4, 3, and there is no any 4, 4, it is a 4, 5 will get. So each sum of the potentials is the total resultant potential due to all the charges, due to all the charges, except for the charges at the point uh, at which the potential is obtained. Okay. So V12, 13, 14, 12, 13, 14, and so on, V1, N, assume the V1. And the 2, 1, 2, 3, 2, 4, V2, 1 is uh, assumed the V2. And V3, 1, 3, 2, V3, 4, and so on, V3, N is a... Uh, V3, then the 2W is equal to Q1 V1 plus Q2 V2 plus Q3 V3. And rewrite this expression, rewrite this expression, the 2WE is equal to the Q1 V1, Q2 V2, and Q3 V3 as a sum of. Uh, I'm taking the values 1, 2, 3, and so on, increasing value. M is equal to 1, 2. N values are there. QM and the VM. So when M is equal to 1, Q1, V1, and M is equal to 2, Q2, V2, and so on, the M is equal to N, QN, VN. So WE is equal to 1 by 2. The sum of uh, M is equal to 1 to N, QM into VM. There is a potential energy stored in the system of N point charges. The potential energy stored, WE is equal to 1 by 2, the sum of uh, M is equal to 1 to N, QM and VM. Now, <clears throat> is the same potential, instead of the potential point charges, uh, the region has continuous charge distribution, then the summation of the equation seven becomes, uh, see what is the W is equal to one by two, QE into, or uh, if I use only the one equation, but I'm taking the sum of the value, WE is equal to one by two, Q into V, only the one equation, okay. Add the line charge, what is the line charge saying that DQ is equal to, DQ is equal to our change of charge with respect to the length of DL is a royal, 
the surface is a change of charge with respect to the surface the charge density rho s and change of charge with respect to the volume is rho v the charge density volume charge density so dq is equal to from this equation the dq is equal to rho l into dl and q is equal to integral rho l into d now substitute here the w e is equal to 1 by 2 the q replaced with integral rho l dl into v so work done w e is equal to potential at the energy stored w e is equal to 1 by 2 the integral rho l dl into v and when the surface is the same thing dq is equal to or uh, directly i'm writing the q is equal to integral rho s into ds and here the q is equal to integral rho v dv means simply the apply the integral on both sides integral of derivative is a q of the so w is equal to substitute the q as the charge density rho s ds into v W is equal to rho s into d s into b. Charles, the work done. And W is equal to 1 by 2 the integral rho v dv into b. Okay, that v is a potential. Now, the energy stored in terms of d bar and e bar. d bar is electric flux density and e bar is electric field intensity. The energy stored W is equal to we know the volume 1 by 2 the integral rho v into v dv. Here the v is not the volume minus, it's a volume minus students. This v is a potential. Don't think that is an integral v dv. So integral v dv is a v square by 2. So this v is a potential and this v is the volume. Okay. So integral value is a rho v into v is a constant. Okay, my dear students. Consider the volume charge distribution having the uniform charge density rho v as the total energy stored is given by the W is equal to 1 by 2 the integral volume integral rho v into v dv. From the Maxwell's equation, from the Maxwell's equation, one of the Maxwell's first equation from the gas law, he got from the gas law, Q is equal to integral d bar dot ds bar. This is a surface integral. d bar dot ds bar. And convert this surface integral to the volume integral, volume integral. By using the divergence theorem, del dot d bar into dv, del dot d bar into dv, and here the q is equal to in terms of the volume, q is equal to now only we discuss that is a change of the charge with respect to the volume is a volume charge density rho v, and dq is equal to rho v into dv and uh, apply the integral on both sides uh, we get q is equal to the volume integral rho v into dv now this is equal to the q and this equation is also equal to the q comparing these two equations uh, integral volume integral rho v dv is equal to the volume integral del dot d bar del dot d bar into d okay so both sides we have the volume integral remove the volume integral and the finally we'll get the del dot d bar is equal to rho v it's the first maxwell's equation proof by using the gas law electric field the gas law of the electric field 
current matter students. Now I am using that equation according to the Maxwell's first equation, rho b is equal to del dot d bar. Substitute as a rho b, w is equal to 1 by 2, the volume integral del dot d bar into b dv. Here, one of the property you have to know is a vector identity. Vector identity. What it matters, friends? See, one of these property we have to know that del dot b a bar is equal to del dot b a bar is equal to first of all if i take the a bar dot del v a bar dot del v plus and the second term we have here the b into del dot a bar del dot a bar this is a property when the del dot v a bar any term is there in the a i.e. that is a b or the j also j if the, suppose it is a j means j bar dot del v plus v into del dot j bar understood so here we have the del dot d bar into v del dot d bar into v so del dot a bar v into del dot a bar is equal to so this is the equation and left hand side we have del dot b a bar del dot b a bar minus a bar into not the a bar into a bar dot del v so in this equation the same thing is the del dot d bar into So, V into del dot D bar, suppose if I am taking this function, D bar, sorry, D bar, V is multiplied. The total function is we write as del dot V D bar minus D bar dot del V, D bar dot del V. Okay. Now, W is equal to W e is equal to 1 by 2, the volume integral, the volume integral, del dot d bar into b, del dot d bar into b, is we write as del dot v d bar minus d bar dot del v all multiply with the dv. The v is a volume, my dear students, here because it is a volume integral. Okay. See, w is equal to 1 by 2 del dot v d bar minus del d bar dot del v. Here the del v is also there. There is some mistake is there here. Del v into d. So expand. Split this at the two parts of the integral. 1 by 2, the volume integral, del dot V d bar into dV minus 1 by 2 into integral, volume integral, d bar dot del V into dV. So, we, have, we got the two equations, two integrals uh, del dot v d bar into d v minus uh, d bar dot del v. What is my difference? So here, now I am using the according to the divergence theorem, the volume integral can be converted to the closed surface integral if closed surface totally surrounds the volume. See, in the second part, uh, integral 1 by the volume integral del dot uh, V d bar dV is equal to V d bar dV is equal to, means it is a volume integral, is equal to 1 by 2 the V d bar dot dS bar V 
bd bar dot ds bar why it is means uh, see the integral d bar dot ds bar this is a gauss law in a surface integral we are converting this surface integral as a volume integral by taking the d bar and del dot d bar into dv the volume integral is so del dot here the del dot b d bar is there instead of t b d bar into dv what is the surface integral of d bar dot ds bar here the d bar is d bar dot ds bar now instead of d here the b into d bar is there b into d bar so the volume integral is converted to the surface integral as 1 by 2 the surface integral b d bar dot ds bar don't confuse my dear students sir so surface integral is converted to the volume integral by take the d bar and apply the dot product with the del dot d bar now here we have del dot instead of d bar is a b d bar b d bar into dv okay so now it is uh, in the surface integral b d bar dot ds bar convert the volume integral to the surface so b d bar dot ds bar so the first integral here is changes as the surface integral 1 by 2 the surface integral is uh, v d bar dot ds bar v d bar dot ds bar minus the same thing 1 by 2 the volume integral d bar dot del v into d got it my dear students so the finally the w is equal to 1 by 2 that's a surface integral the first part i converted to the surface integral b d bar dot ds bar minus 1 by 2 the volume integral d bar dot del v now we know that the volume the, not the volume the potential is proportional to the 1 by r potential is proportional to the 1 by r why the potential v is equal to q by 4 pi r 4 pi h can not r its take is a constant is totally the v is proportional to 1 by r the potential at the point charge and similarly electric flux density d bar is equal to Q by four pi r square into a r bar is also there, and it is also proportional to if it is a constant. D bar is equal to D bar is proportional to one by r square. Is a point charge for the point charge, and now and so on. So we. B D bar is proportional to B D bar. B D bar. B D bar is proportional to one by R and the one by R square. B is proportional to one by R, and D is proportional to one by R square. So it is totally proportional to the one by R cube. So the B D bar is proportional to at least the one by R cube, while D differential surface varies as r square as a total integral varies as 1 by r so why it is a in the previous the first integral first term of integral here b d bar dot d s bar b d bar dot d s bar b d bar is proportional to 1 by r cube and the d s means 1 by r square the differential surface Okay, one by r square or the r square it is not the one by r square r square. So one by r cube into r square, the dot product r square as of d s is varies. 
R square and Q which get cancelled, the total term is proportional to 1 by R, the first integral. As the total integral varies uh, as 1 by R, as the surface becomes uh, very large, as the surface becomes very large, R tends to infinite and 1 by R tends to the 0. And so the closer surface integral is 0 in the equation, the first integral of the W E, first integral of the W E, the first term is a 0. First term is a zero. You see, the, the first term becomes a zero value. And the second term is a, that second term, minus one by to the volume integral d bar dot del v to d, d bar dot del v into dv. We know the gradient of v is, uh, e bar is equal to minus del v. In the previous class, we seen uh, the gradient V or grade V or del V is equal to minus E bar or E bar is equal to minus del V. Substitute here D bar dot uh, E bar. So, W is equal to minus 1 by 2. The volume integral D bar dot uh, minus E bar into D. So, minus into minus is becomes a plus. 1 by 2 the volume integral d bar dot d is a d bar and e bar into dv also the volume integral 1 by 2 the volume integral d bar dot e bar dv the jowls is a work done the energy stored energy stored the w is equal to in terms of e bar okay the 1 by 2 the volume integral we know the d bar is equal to epsilon naught into e bar. Epsilon naught into e bar dot e bar d. Okay. So, epsilon naught by 2, epsilon naught by 2, the volume integral. Epsilon naught is a constant volume integral. E square, e bar is equal to the work done. Energy stored in terms of e on. Okay, W is equal to 1 by to the volume integral, epsilon naught e square dv is out. Otherwise, you can substitute the e bar in terms of the d bar. W is equal to 1 by 2 the volume integral d bar dot epsilon e bar is equal to e bar is equal to d bar dot d bar by the epsilon naught into d. So, that is equal to 1 by square into d, w e is equal to. So, energy stored in terms of d and energy stored in terms of d bar and e bar, energy stored in terms of e and energy stored in terms of the d. What in matters? Okay. Now, we can apply the differentiation on both sides. Uh, the double d w e is equal to 1 by d bar dot e bar into dv or d w e by dv is equal to 1 by 2 d bar dot uh, e bar uh, the change of uh, is called energy density in electric field having the units uh, joules per meter cube energy density if this is an integrate over the volume we get the total energy present w e is equal to apply the integral on both sides uh, you'll get uh, w e is equal to 1 by 2 the integral d bar dot e bar. 